Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. And welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is customs and culture now before we get into any lessons boys and girls we need to sanitize so let us take our sanitizer and be responsible Remember, you can also use soap and water to make sure that your hands have no germs and also to make sure that you're staying away from coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. Today's lesson is all about crossword puzzles and e words. For our first activity, boys and girls, we are going to go to page 19. On page 19, we are going to be doing a crossword puzzle. Now, we have done many of these before, so we are only going to do half together, and the rest you will do by yourselves. Now, remember, a crossword puzzle always has a clue on what you need to write in the blocks. In this case, they have given us pictures and then below they have given us a word bank. So we are going to start with our crossword puzzle. Remember boys and girls, when we're doing a crossword puzzle, the clue that is going to be on the left is the one that is going across. And then the clue that is on top is the one that is going down. So we're going to start with a cross. What do you think this is? The picture is there and then the words are here. Is it a bed or a net or a den or the number 10 or a web? If you guessed web, well done. This is a web. So we are going to write the word web going across. So we will start with the W. Very good. Then the E. Well done. And now the B. Very good. Now let us read our word or sound our word. M e b web. Let's move on to the next one. The next picture is going down. And we can see it there. Is it a bed or a net or a den? or the number 10. Remember, we've already used web, so we can cross it out. If you said this looks like a bed, well done. Also, we have our first sound. 
Remember, in a crossword puzzle, sometimes the blocks are sharing letters and sounds. In this case, our last letter for web is our first letter for bed. So all we need to fill in now is our A and D. Now we have the word bed. Now the next one that we are going to be doing is the picture here. And we need to find the word in the bank. Let's cross out bed so we don't use it again. Is the picture a net or a den or the number 10? If you guess that it is a den, well done. A den can be a place for an animal to make its home. So we are going to write the word den. Now, as you can see, we are sharing a block. So our last sound, d, for the word bed will be our first sound for the word den. So we are going to write our a and n. Well done, boys and girls. Now we are going to go ahead and continue. We have our picture going down. So, we need to find out after crossing out the word den, what this picture is all about. Is it the word net or the word ten? Well done. It is the word net because we already have our n. So, let us write the e and the t to spell the word net and let us cross it out. The rest of the word puzzle or crossword puzzle you are going to do by yourselves. Remember, take your time, look at the picture and you will get them correct. Now the bottom of that page is asking you to do something else. So let's take a look at the exercise. After you are done, you are going to use the words to write your own sentences. The words you're going to use is are, web, ten, and pen. Remember, these are the eh words. So that is why we keep on seeing the eh sound. Remember, boys and girls, when you're writing your sentences, the first thing you need to do is make it in your mind. After that, you need to put a capital letter at the beginning of your sentence. And when your sentence is complete and correct, you are going to put either a full stop, an exclamation mark, or a question mark. So, be quick and I will see you soon after this exciting exercise. We will be back after an advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our next exercise, boys and girls, we are going to go to page 20. On page 20, we are now dealing with the words that have e in them. Everyone, let's say e. E. Well done. Sometimes the word can have an I in it instead of e. It is going to be our job to color in all the e words that we can see. 
and we're not just going to color with any color boys and girls we are going to use red so let us take a look at the board i have my red color here and i am going to try and find a word that has e in it now my picture has the word did d e d d e d did so that means i need to color that part red remember boys and girls there are two ways of coloring either up and down or side to side you cannot mix them because that means you have no direction so i'm going to do up and down today and as i'm coloring i'm going to make sure that i am inside the lines now there are many other words that we can see here that have it in them and we're going to try and find them i'm almost done with mine just a little bit at the bottom remember as you can see i'm only doing up and down just a little bit more and i am done with most of it so i have colored one part with my red now it's going to be your job boys and girls to find the rest of the e words take your time sound out the word if you don't know it and you can also say it so that you can find it remember some of the words have an i sound in them as well take your time and i will see you after our advert break follow us on my zone facebook active kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with zoe and zoshi we have now come to the end of our lesson and i hope you had so much fun like i did now that we are at the end of the lesson boys and girls we need to sanitize remember we need to sanitize because we're trying to stay safe and be responsible as well make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else well done i wonder though i haven't seen sashi and i'd like him to have a sweet today sashi <laughs> Hi, Sashi. Would you like a sweet today? There you go. Let's put it in your mouth. <laughs> okay, so from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School, and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.